Hey Nora, where are we going? Where I gotta go? See the f***ing trailer! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Should I not swear? Wait, that's me again. That's I can, again. I can bleep it out. Don't oh. bleep stuff. Bleeping Why? is tacky. All right, Nora, where are we going? We're going to go see the trailer! <laughs> Oh my God, it's huge! Oh! And then set the bar down. Wow! You know what I mean? Well, damn! <laughs> okay, so what they're doing right now is they're working on the bearings and trying to figure out how those are gonna work. Um, but this is a tour of our tiny home. So this over here. This little C channel is actually where the stage is gonna pull in and out. So that's in this section. Um, above that, what we have here is um, three inch C channel. And we're actually gonna have a piece of uh, galvanized steel underneath this so that we can just pack this full of insulation. So this actually becomes the floor. So we're not putting a floor on top of it, this is the floor. Um, Okay, I'll point out some other stuff. Um, so this right here is a standard seven inch step down. So this is the living room. This is the kitchen. And there's gonna be a nice little step down. Again, we're insulating this. We're gonna be insulating this section here. So it really is just a standard seven inch step. So, the concept of drop axles is that it actually buys you a whole lot more space and we wanted to make sure that the stage was high but that our loft area wasn't sacrificed from having the stage up higher than the rest of the house which is why we have a seven inch step down and um, that's to buy us more headroom in the kitchen area so that's the deal here and these is this is what a drop axle looks like instead of just having this come out here you gain about four inches um, by having the axle shape like this. This is where the toilet is gonna be. Great. This is all of our kitchen -y stuff. This is kitchen. We're gonna have a nice window over here. Um, this is where we're gonna have the sink. Yep. And some storage space. Over here is our living room, and on this wall is where we're gonna have that eight foot tall, six foot wide door. So probably from about here to about here is that door space. So these are gonna open up real big, because then when the stage pulls out like that, you have your little performance. Um, continuing the tour, this is where a little closet's gonna be. Really not that big at all, but it's gonna be about here. Um, it's tucked on this side, so when you open the doors, you don't really see it. Um, then we're gonna have a nice little couch seating area over here. This is where we're gonna have a secondary door, so an escape door for the theater, but also so that if you wanted to, you can also pull the stage section out from this side, and you can have access to a littler porch or a big porch on this side of the stage, or the, of the house. Hmm. Our ladder will be over there-ish, and then the loft is above the kitchen and above bathroom. Over there. Pretty cool. So cool. So what we actually did was we bought five tires because we were anticipating something going wrong. So hopefully by owning five tires, we won't actually Need, Need the fifth one, the fifth one yeah. ever. <laughs> um, but it's always important to have a spare. Tires are on, bearings are figured out, all the good stuff has been done. Next steps, sandblasting, painting, building some wheel wells, and then, and then we build a tiny house. <laughs> what? Don't be fooled. It's not axle grease. It's the okay, blood of our enemies. It's uh